Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different than my typical weekly vlog videos. I figured I'd do a little Q&A for you guys and answer some of the questions you've been asking me in the comments. And I also had you send me questions via IG stories about anything you wanted me to answer. So thank you so much to everybody who sent questions. There's literally hundreds. There was hundreds of questions and I went through. There's a lot of repetitive ones. I wrote down a lot of the questions on my little notes so that's easier to go through everything. As always, I just wanted to say I love you guys so much and thank you so much for your support and for your love and for subscribing and for commenting and watching the videos and I just love you guys. So the first question is, how did you meet your boyfriend? So Lyle and I met um, through a mutual friend and this was like two and a half years ago or something like that, like two-ish years ago. And we met through a mutual friend. So we kind of all went out and long story short, we've been inseparable since. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Angel. Oh my goodness, you wanna be in the video? Come here, come here. Okay, now you don't wanna come. All right, you're cut. Put it, but, oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I just got a CNBC notification. <gasps> Can you guys see this? Hey, pretty look, Bubba. Oh my god. Um, so that was an amazing notification. Princey, I'm filming a video. I can't scratch you right now. <laughs> you just gonna fucking see this dog right now. I can't. <laughs> my intentions were never to be like in a committed serious relationship with anyone and neither were his but it was just kind of like meant to be and every time i think about how we met it was just like the stars aligned and everything was met like we were meant for each other right when we needed to be and right when it was like the right time um and i just love him so much so yeah okay second question what motivates you what motivates me is just always being better than I was yesterday, than I was last week, than I was last month. Um, to just be better for the people around me and for the community around me and just, just to always strive to be better, a better person, a better girlfriend, a better sister, a better daughter, just, just better, always improving. I think that motivates me. How did you start your own brand? If you're referring to my clothing line, I just kind of started and that's kind of, how I do everything in my life. I just start. I really didn't know anything about clothing brands or how to start a clothing line. I obviously know about clothes because I wear clothes, but I didn't know the business side of things. And, oh my God, do you hear the cheering outside? You guys, I'm literally getting teary eyed. There's people cheering everywhere because of the news. Oh my God, I'm literally gonna cry. They just projected Joe Biden as the winner is just a breath of fresh air. Um, yeah. Okay. How did you start your own brand? So I didn't really know much about clothing lines. I just knew that I wanted to branch out into that area. And I just went on Google and started figuring things out. I really didn't know anyone that had their own clothing line or had any connections in that department. Um, so Google's always been my best friend. Like when I don't know something, I just Google and do my research and I started finding manufacturers and the type of clothes I wanted to create. I started sketching things, sketching designs and styles and pieces. And I just, it's been a whole bunch of trial and error because I'm doing it on my own. But I've just learned so much through the process and I think it just makes everything that much more special because I've just done it all from scratch. And I love, I love my clothing line. It's like my baby and it, it's growing with me and I'm just learning as I go and it's just been such a special and magical journey and thank you guys for your support. Uh, would you recommend Would you recommend three best restaurants in New York? Love your aesthetic. Oh gosh, this is hard. Okay, so I think, I mean, I don't have like three favorites. I just love like food anywhere <laughs> and I think New York has some of the best restaurants I've ever been to. Um, but I think, I could be butchering this, but Cecilio and Pepe, Cecilio and Pepe, or is it Casio and Pepe? I think it's Cecilio and Pepe. Anyways, it's like this delicious, delicious restaurant that's just like pasta everywhere and I'm like in heaven. 
St. Ambrose is also another good one. They have a Soho location that's really cute. Um, Catch is really good. Lottery is also really good. Oh my God, they're, yes, they're coffee, pastries, all that jazz, macaroons, bomb.com. How many times a week do you work out currently? Currently, so quick thing on working out. I never was the type to go work out in a gym. Um, before COVID started, I would just always be walking throughout the city and I made it a point to walk instead of use another form of transportation. So I used to walk so much and that was my workout and that's how I would stay in shape. However, because of COVID, obviously we've been working from home so we're staying home and sitting majority of the time. So I had to start going to the gym. Um, and I recently started going back to the gym and I work out about three to five times a week try to work out three to five times a week. Obviously some weeks are really crazy and I just don't feel like going to the gym and some weeks I'm at the gym like seven times a week. So it just depends on the week. I like working out because it helps me de-stress but I love going on long walks even more or in the summertime Lau and I would just like bike around the city on the city bikes and that was really fun. So I just love being out in nature in one way or another and I'd like to incorporate my working out regime with nature somehow. How do you edit your photos for your Instagram feed? Please do a short tutorial, thank you. So this is probably one of my most asked questions is how do I edit my photos? And I've answered this question so many times before. I've told you guys that I don't use any presets, any filters, etc. I like to keep my photos really natural. Um, I used to use presets a long time ago if you guys used to follow me. That was like over two years ago I wanna say. Um, I don't remember exactly, but I did used to use presets when presets were like a thing. And I think my feed has just become really who I am at this point in my life. And that's why my feed has changed so much. If you've been following me for a while, you know my feed has changed a lot. And it's always because I just transition with who I am at the time and how I'm feeling and what my style is. Um, but I really do think the current feed or just style and aesthetic I have going on is really like who I am. Um, so the way I edit my photos is I don't really edit them. I will take a photo and I just edit in like the app itself and I will bring down like the exposure. It just depends on the photo. Every single photo is different. The lighting is different in every photo, but I'll usually bring down the exposure or the brightness or the highlights and just sharpen it and that's pretty much it. What advice would you give to someone that wants to start out doing digital content slash vlogs? Just start and do what feels right to you. There's no checklist to go off of. There's no um, standard in a way. Just do what you love. Do whatever feels right for you in terms of your content. And the advice I would give is just start and you figure it out as you go. There's no right or wrong, I don't think. Um, hi love, are you planning to come out with new pieces slash colors for your line? Yes. Um, it's been so difficult with COVID because our new collection and everything moving forward is going to be made in the US and our new collection is made in New York City. So because of COVID, our factory here in New York City was closed when everything was closed because clothing manufacturers are not considered an essential business for obvious reasons. So that was shut down and that put a hold on the, the new collection that was supposed to launch months ago. So everything has been postponed and it was a little stressful and frustrating at first, but then it is what it is and you can't control it. So I just had to like relax and look at the bright side of things. So yeah, everything is coming out. I just shared on IG a new dress that we have the Chloe dress that I'm obsessed with and I'm planning on having it in a slightly different color, different colors for the upcoming seasons, but also slightly different style for um, like the holidays and stuff. Uh, what makes you feel good again after having a hectic day at work? Just spending time with people that I love and the people that put a smile on my face and Prince and Lyle <laughs> and also being out in nature. Um, just being outside always puts me more at ease and makes me calm down after a stressful moment. Your current favorite foundation or tinted moisturizer? I've been using the Giorgio Armani Nano tinted moisturizer, I believe. It's what I'm wearing right now and love it. Love the coverage. It's pretty lightweight, but it covers enough. Um, if you have like redness or dark eyes, I feel like it does. It gives you a very natural look and it's not heavy. Do you think your style is going to change or do you think your style now is it for life? Love you. Love you too. Um, like I said before, I think my style changes as I grow and change in life. I feel like as humans, we're always evolving. So I've always 
try to be really authentic to myself so the reason why everything changes so much and my style changes so much is because i'm genuinely changing in that time uh period so i do think my current style is really like more a little more set than I, it's ever been before just because it's not really like trendy i love focusing on timeless classic pieces and styles and silhouettes and colors so that it could be pieces that i can own forever in my closet how tall are you you always look super tall i am 5 8 i think this says do you plan it says do you about moving somewhere else in the future i'm assuming they're saying do you plan on moving out somewhere else in the future yes um i've mentioned this before i've always wanted to live in new york after I finished school because I felt like New York was the place I could build a career and really experience things um, and figure out who I am and what I want to do. Um, but New York was never a place that I wanted to live forever in and I definitely like warm weather more and palm trees and just sunshine all year long and a little bit more slower pace once I feel like I've built a solid foundation in my career. So definitely somewhere warmer in the future and Lau is on the same page so I'm really happy about that. What do you do to keep your skin so glowy and flawless? I'm such a fan from South Africa. Um, I try to drink a lot of water. I don't really have like specific tips. Definitely use, I personally have found out once I started using a lot of face oils on my face like even with my hair i think oils like natural oils from nature um are so good for you and it's like really they provide a lot of the things we need and a lot of what our skin is asking for so i love using natural oils on my skin natural oils they should be hydrating your skin and actually helping with any skin concerns you might have so like if you're breaking out and stuff like that when I used to break out in like college, I would still, that's kind of when I started playing around with oils and natural products like that. And I think not only did it help, it really like made my skin just heal itself. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend oils. For your hair too, I drench my hair in oils. How to get over someone you really like and you know he likes you, but you can't be together. Life is too short. So if something's not working out with someone or with something, you just have to accept it for what it is and move forward. It's either not meant to be or it's not the right time. And I really strongly believe that everything happens at the right time when it's the right time for you. Not when you think it's the right time for you, but when it's when the universe, when the universe knows it's the right time for you. I think that is why sometimes we think we need to like force things or like something's supposed to happen now because you feel like it's for you right now, but it's not. And it will happen when it's supposed to, if it's meant to. So I just wouldn't focus too much on it to be honest i know it might be hard but just believe that the universe has the best intentions for you and it will all make sense eventually next question how to grow your following as an influencer i think just be authentic to who you are and what you want to do and who you want to be and how you want people to perceive you just be genuinely you if you just stay consistent and you are true to yourself you will grow and there's always going to be people that resonate with you and your personality and your style and they will support you. What is one quote you always live by? Um, sounds cheesy, but since I was young, I always loved this quote and it's live every day like it's your last. I'm sure we've all heard it. It sounds so cliche, but when you really think about it, it's true. And if we all did that, I think we would have such more fulfilled and deeper lives. Next question, how hard was the process of moving to New York? Um, it actually was not that hard because I think I listened to my gut and it was the right time and everything just slowly aligned. Like I wasn't trying to force something that I don't think was meant to happen. I genuinely knew my gut was telling me you need to move to New York instead of doing what I originally had planned. And things just started falling into place so I don't think it was too, too hard. What was your occupation prior to becoming an influencer? Love your style, by the way. Thank you. Um, before becoming an influencer, I was in college and I moved to New York City as soon as I graduated college and that's when everything started. How do you afford so much designer? Um, I save a lot of money. If I want some a piece that's pricier, I make sure it's high quality, it's worth the cost. Just because it's designer does not mean it's worth the price tag. 
Um, I make sure it's a piece that I'm gonna have for years and I'm actually gonna get a lot of wears out of it and I save a lot of my money. I also buy a lot of consignment and secondhand designer pieces so that it's just better for the planet and it's also better for your wallet. Uh, can you be transparent about your sources of income? Yes, I've always tried to be transparent about it. I, um, full-time influencer, have my clothing line, I have a jewelry line. I also do consulting for brands and I invest in brands as well. So those are my sources of income. Um, and no, for people that assume, um, I get my money from somewhere else besides my hard work. I've seen some comments like, oh, daddy's money or oh, your boyfriend's money. No, 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 no. I've, I made sure that I always used to tell my parents this. I always wanted to be like self, like financially independent. So the moment I finished school, even in college, I had two jobs. I made sure that I can pay my way through college and help my parents as much as possible. And then as soon as I graduated college, I saved my own money and moved to New York on my own in my own finances i never relied on anyone else to help me out in life i just knew i had to do it for myself what other career path you would have chosen um i was actually studying pre-law when i graduated so my two options were to go to law school which is what i wanted to do and that's why i was studying pre-law i had law internships i did the whole thing i really wanted to get into a top law school and be an attorney um and then at that time is when i started I think it was sophomore going into junior year in college. I had a blog just for fun and that's when blogs were starting out and I I was taking such rigorous courses but I'm very creative individual so I was lacking that creativity in my everyday. Oh, Trump. I loved writing, I loved fashion, I loved taking like photography, all that stuff, the creativity of designing things so it was just like a seamless step to start my blog and that's kind of when that opportunity and that door opened for me and yeah tips for moving in with your boyfriend i'm moving in with mine next saturday oh my god laps um well very exciting um i think everybody's different when they move in with their significant other because no two no two couples are the same and no two individuals are the same so the combinations of relationships are just like endless right Compromising and communicating very clearly and always voicing when something upsets you or when some, you want something done and you're like, why aren't you doing it? Like, so for us, like one of our challenges was I love organization. I love everything to, everything has a place. Everything needs to be clean. That's just how I function when I work from home. I like a clean, organized environment. I am my best in those environments. So that's always just how my place has been when I've had my own place. And then moving with Lyle, we weren't always on the same page about that. So it's the key is just to compromise and communicate about your expectations and what you want and work with the other person um, to make it happen so that you're both happy and feel comfortable in your living environment and you can get through anything if you both are committed to each other and you both are committed to each other's happiness. One thing you wish you knew before moving to New York City, I feel like I knew a lot of the things about New York City before I moved to New York City in terms of the things I don't really aren't my favorite, like how expensive it is, how loud it can be, how dirty it is, how smelly it can be during the summer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Next question, how old are you? I'm 26. Um, did you ever face any rejections from friends or family being with a black man? I hope not. Um, not that I personally know of at least nothing I was made aware of like to my face, but everyone I know, all of my friends love Lyle, my family loves Lyle, so I've never faced any sort of rejection that I know of. I, I mean, my family and friends are all that matter, so if anyone else has any opinion about it, I don't care, but my family and friends love Lyle. Next question is gift ideas for boyfriend and family members. I always like sentimental things. I don't think I'm the best at picking gifts, but I don't think I'm the worst. I'm just like in between. I always personally loved giving and receiving sentimental things. To me, it's not about the value or the materialistic thing. It's more about like, what does this mean? Um, so I always think something sentimental that you took time to create or think about, I think always is just much more special. Uh, key pieces in your closet for winter, oversized hoodie, oversized sweater, Oversized leather jacket, oversized long wool, like coat, cute pair of chunky boots. 
Uh, dream job would be what I'm doing. Uh, next question, advice on finding your niche and being confident. Um, just in terms of confidence, just love yourself. Know that you are good enough. You are beautiful enough. You're amazing enough. You're talented enough. You can do anything you want. The sole fact that no one else in the world is like you should just give you all the confidence in the world to believe in yourself because you're the only one that is like that and and like it's just so special like there's no one like you so that should just give you all the confidence in the world and advice on finding your niche um just be true to who you are and that is probably the niche that works best for you because it feeds your desires your inspiration your um, it just feeds your soul when you're true to yourself and I think that just gives you the power to keep going uh, Best way to find an apartment slash room in New York City Mutual friends talk to people. I know a lot. I know a lot of people that have found good roommates through Social media like if you like post like on stories or like spread the word I'm looking for a roommate or I'm moving to the city Is anyone looking for a roommate a lot of times people on social media will connect you? It's also a little safer because you probably know someone that knows them because they connected you so you can ask them questions about the person um, Facebook also has a lot of Pages for to find a roommate in New York City. Where are you and your boyfriend from? Lyle is Panamanian his family is Panamanian, but he was born in upstate New York I am Bulgarian. I was born in Bulgaria. I grew up in um, Seattle and then I moved to New York City. How long were you single before you met Lyle? Since I think I came out of the womb. I never, before Lyle, there was never someone that I committed to. I would date and meet people and just experience all of that, but I never really committed to anyone seriously until I met Lyle. How do you manage your finances? Do you treat yourself often or do you save more? I definitely am a saver. I always have been even when I didn't have any like money, like when I was in school, like in high school and I just had like side jobs. Um, I always just saved all the money that I made and would barely spend. I just loved saving my money and I found it to be really rewarding. So I just, I've always just been naturally more of a saver than a spender, but I have my moments obviously. Um, Hi love, my question is, do you ever think, especially when doing videos, what people say? Yes and no, like, there are certain things that I think can get to you sometimes, but I think just doing what I do in my personality in general, I just don't, if it's not, if it's not a, an opinion coming from someone close to me that I personally, like, value and cherish, then it's not an opinion I really care about. If people don't personally know you, then that opinion can't be that, that authentic, right, so. Does your boyfriend like being on camera? Yes, he's super supportive. He doesn't mind being on camera, but again, you guys have asked me that before and like what he does and like what his job is and things like that or like what my friend's job is or who my closest friends are. And those are just things I will not talk about and I respect people's privacy and just because I choose to put my life out there does not mean I push that on anyone else. So yes, he does love being on camera when I show him in like the vlogs and stuff just because he's there with me and he's obviously a part of my life, but I respect everybody's privacy and I don't push him to ever share things on uh, social media or YouTube if he's not comfortable because he doesn't need to, but he is really supportive of what I do and he does not mind being featured on camera at all, but it's just not really his thing. It's not what he does. Um, favorite thing about living in New York City, like everything. I mean, it's New York. I just love that it's a big city full of opportunities and like so many challenges and obstacles and you it's just, you're always going, you never stop. Um, what is your favorite part about your job? I think just connecting with people and connecting with you guys and connecting with other influencers and connecting with just with humans across the world is like my favorite thing because you get to meet so many amazing, amazing people. How long do you and your boyfriend plan to live in New York? Um, like I said, we're planning on moving somewhere warmer down the line when we want to like settle down and buy a home and have a family. But for now, we're in New York because it's where our careers and lives are. But definitely in the future, we are planning on moving somewhere else. How's puppy training going? I, re I recently got a pup myself. Well, congrats. I love dogs so much and I'm obsessed with Prince. He's currently taking a nap on the floor next to me. Um, Puppy training is going, or went fab. I guess he's no longer a puppy. Prince 
turned a year in August. So I don't I don't know what the cutoff is, but I don't think he's considered a puppy anymore. But he's honestly the smartest dog I've ever owned and he's so sweet and he loves like pleasing our his owners, which is Lyle and I. Um so he's really like obedient when we tell him no or like he can't do this or that. He tends I think he picks up on it really well. And then when we reinforce good behaviors with like treats, I think he remembers that really well too so he was just such a great puppy and he got potty trained like this like i didn't really know how to potty train a dog um and i don't we didn't really like do anything specific but he just picked it up so quick the moment he was like six months and started kind of going outside he just transitioned to fully going outside and it was a blessing <laughs> if you could go back in your young age what will be your advice to your future now um everything is possible and you're good enough. How did you deal with toxic people around you? I don't deal with them, I just cut them off. They're canceled, they're done, goodbye. Life is too short, you don't have time for negative people, toxic people, people that are trying to hurt you and bring you down. Why keep them in your life? Just politely excuse yourself out of that relationship, out of that friendship, out of that situation and just move on. Um, tips on how to stay positive during quarantine. Talk to people, just know nothing lasts forever. Um, keep yourself safe, keep everyone around you as safe as possible. Just talk to people, talk to friends, talk to family, talk to your neighbor, talk to someone at the grocery store. Just know that people are going through a difficult time just like you might be. And that to me always gives me hope when I know I'm not alone in something. Like the whole world is going through a difficult time with COVID and Everybody is facing their own challenges through this time. So just know you're not alone. Know that it will get better after, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. After every low, there's a high and after every high, there's a low and it's just the cycle of life. So know that this is gonna get better. How did you start a blog? Can you talk about the website you started on, how to grow, etc.? Yeah, I started my blog on WordPress and this was years ago and how to grow would just be posting consistently, um, sharing more about you and your personality so that people can kind of relate to you or connect to you in some way and you could build that relationship with your community. Um, yeah, just be consistent, be authentic to who you are. Again, just be your honest, true self. And maybe if you're like writing blog posts, focus on current, you know, maybe it's like the current season, trends for the season, or current lifestyle, or current um, working from home tips. Just like focus on current topics. Um, that can really help your SEO when people are searching about current stuff and your blog pops up. Um, do you believe in manifestation and the law of attraction? Yes. I'm fully into that and really believe in it. And I think life works in pretty amazing ways. And I think what you believe and what you think about, you just attract into your world and your life. So I do strongly believe in manifestation. How many languages do you speak? I speak Bulgarian and English fluently. And then I studied French in high school, but I really don't know that much French. And I kind of picked up on a little bit of Spanish, but I really don't know that much Spanish. So fluently, I speak English and Bulgarian. How old are you? I'm 26. How do you balance everything in your business, your YouTube, blog, clothing line, jewelry? Um, I think I've just been working for myself for so long, so I've found a little bit of like what works for me and how to like schedule things out, but I just kind of work 24 seven. I love what I do and I think that's why it's so important to do something you love as a career because then you really could just do it all the time and not get tired of it so I don't feel like I'm working, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, balance. I haven't figured out the balance, so if you guys have tips on that, let me know below. What kind of music are you into? I love everything. It depends on my mood. I listen to everything. I love reggaeton. I love Bulgarian music. I love just your mainstream pop, hip hop, rap, R&B. Um, I'll listen to country. I'll listen to EDM. I just like everything. Um, what's next for your business? Definitely releasing more pieces for my clothing line. And yeah, I think that would be it's my current focus is my clothing line. Did you go to college and if so, which one and what did you major in? Yes, I went to the University of Washington in Seattle. Go Huskies. If anyone watching this is from UW, University of Washington, they say UW there, um, comment down below, I'm really curious. But I double majored in um, psych and political science 
because I wanted to go into law school. Do you ever go to Uptown Manhattan, like Harlem or around the 70s area? Yes, I've been there before. I've tried to go everywhere in New York and just visit all the different areas and just see as much as I can, experience as much as I can. Um, I've been up there for food because I know they have some amazing restaurants. So I remember being up there for food recently. Um, I absolutely love your sense of fashion, what inspired your style. Um, I talked a little bit about this before. I just try to pick timeless classic styles and pieces and I love just like neutral tones or black. Like I love just wearing black. I don't do color that much and when I do, um, I get a little excited because my everyday style is pretty neutral and simple. Um, but I do love color. I love color. I just don't wear it that much when it comes to my clothes. It just, I don't feel like as comfortable in like a red shirt as I do in just like a black shirt. Um, next one is if Lyle proposed to you right now, would you accept? Yes. Lyle and I have talked about having a family and getting married and all that stuff really early in our relationship. And the reason why he's the first person I've ever committed to is because I was just very picky when it came to dating and I never really wanted to commit to someone that I didn't want to get to know more and saw a future with. And I feel like when you're young, a lot of people just date to date, but I just didn't want to waste my time doing that. And I wanted to be with someone that was on the same page as me and wanted to date to get to know each other more and potentially be together and get married one day and have a family together. We're still too young. Like we've talked about it, like definitely in the future, but not yet. We're still like young. How do you stay focused on yourself and not get lost in your relationship? I think just being independent and having, um, hanging out with your friends, doing things, uh, like taking a break from your significant other and just doing things in, like by yourself. Like sometimes I go on walks by myself, obviously, like I'll do go run errands by myself. Just having that independence day to day and also having like your own career really helps. Um, so you're still your own person in a relationship. Don't ever forget that. You need two independent people to have, I think, the most healthy relationship. Um, so Lau has his own thing going on. I have my own thing going on. And I, that's why it's exciting because then when we do get to talk and spend more time together, we just have such different things to discuss and it's more exciting that way. Would you consider uploading twice a week? And oh, also, how is your name pronounced? I'm so glad. Okay, I'm glad someone asked that because I think people butcher my full name all the time. Um, so my name is Gurgana Ivanova. So it's Gurgana, it's a hard G. Most people usually say Gurgana, but it's just G, like as in goat. <laughs> I hope that helps, but people call me Gigi. So if you see Gigi somewhere, it's some people call me Gigi, that's why. Uh, and would you consider uploading twice a week? I have randomly done two videos when it's just like I have more content, I've done two videos a week, but I don't, I'm not gonna commit to something. I that's like a little too difficult with my schedule right now just because I have so many other things I'm doing and two videos a week sounds so overwhelming. Oh my God. I'm 25, I feel behind. I aspire to do what you do, but my own vision is it too late. No, oh my God, you're 25. You have so much ahead of you. You don't, you're 25, even if you're 50, you don't know what can happen in one year. You can accomplish in one year what some people accomplish in 25 years. It's just believe in yourself, have your goals clear, have your vision clear, and have your, you know, write everything down. Just have a plan and make it happen. I want to create a makeup foundation. I have no idea how to start. Help. Google, I have no idea when it comes to creating makeup, but that is an amazing dream of yours. And I just suggest just going on Google, Googling um, whatever questions you have. Like that's what I did with my clothing line. I was like, how do you start clothing line? So maybe like Google how to start um, a makeup line and just go from there. Just, just do research, maybe connect with people um, through social that have their own like uh, makeup lines. And yeah, just start talking to people and connecting. And so I think that was all of the questions. Oh my God, this video is gonna be so long. I am sorry. And I just wanted to answer all these and I hope you find this video helpful. Um, thank you so much for sending in your questions. I love you guys so much. I will see you in next week's video. It's probably gonna be another vlog. So yeah, I will see you in next week's video. Love you.